Ever taken out a bank loan to buy your dream house or your dream car? Ever dealt with financial debts? What if there are debts in software development life cycle too? Never heard of them? Well, then you should definitely watch this video till the end. In this video, we'll be talking about technical debt and everything you need to know about it. Before moving on with this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. What is technical debt? Technical debt or tech debt refers to a scenario when software companies rush to provide a piece of software or a project and then they have to rework on it later. To put it in another way, it is the effect of emphasizing speed over accuracy in coding. When you take a shortcut in developing your code in order to move faster and you end up with poorer and more complex code, since it is similar to getting a loan, it is termed as technical debt. You can acquire more today then you normally could, but you end up paying a bigger price eventually. Certain things are more essential than others. For instance, a vehicle to travel to and from work. Sometimes people can't simply decide to put off that investment for months or even years in order to save the money they actually need. As a result, they acquire a car loan. That means they'll pay more over time for the car, but they'll get what they need right away. Now that we have gained a basic understanding of what exactly technical debt means, let us look at the types of technical debt that might occur. Types of technical debt. Technical debt is broadly divided into two types, planned or intentional and unplanned or unintentional. A planned technical debt is technical debt taken deliberately as a strategic tool. This type of technical debt arises when an organization makes a well-informed choice to incur technical debt, fully aware of the repercussions, risk and the cost associated with the same. It is necessary to be as detailed as possible when outlining the concessions the company intends to make when it comes to the projected technical debt. An unintentional technical debt is defined as a non-strategic outcome of bad performance. An unplanned technical debt occurs as a result of poor techniques, lack of knowledge with new coding approaches and deployment challenges, etc. Technical debt, good or bad. Let us continue with the same example as before. You take up a car loan to buy a car because it suits your need at the moment. Now, although it seems to be the best decision for you, some of your friends or colleagues may differ in the opinion. They may think of it as a financial burden that could have been avoided by saving money first and then planning things in a better way. Basically, your decision to acquiring a loan can be good or bad, right or wrong. It all depends on one's perspective. Same goes for technical debt. It can be good or bad, right or wrong, depending upon one's perspective. One of the most crucial factor to consider when taking out a business loan is the rate of interest. Approaching a loan shark with excessively high interest rate is obviously a terrible choice. The same is true for technical debt. You must calculate the amount of interest you will pay. Technical debt is beneficial in a way to have if the amount you'll pay back is minimal and fair. Wondering how can you calculate the interest or the amount on the technical debt? Well, there are certain questions you need to consider upon it. Is this an essential element of the primary product? If this is the case, taking on debt could come at a very high price. What are the future prospects? What could be the impact of technical debt on future growth and upcoming projects? What are the consequences for the customer base? How much will technical debt have an impact on the user experience and success? Wait, does that mean technical debt are always a great decision? No, there are certain cases when technical debt ends up being more of a problem for the development team. It might lead to several issues in the software as it is already lacking in terms of quality. So even if the product releases in the market and or it is handed over to a client, the developers might face issues as a faulty system, eventually leading the system failures. Whoa, sounds quite challenging, isn't it? But there has to be some solution to this, right? Let us take a look on how we can manage to avoid and minimize the technical debts. So, how to reduce technical debt? Tracking and coping with your craft is crucial since debt can outlast numerous developing phases. But, how to avoid technical debt? Well, here are a few valuable tips any organization or its developer team can use to handle technical debts. Think before you do. 
thinking about your software design before you start coding in the early stages of development is the easiest method to avoid tech debts. Making changes in the initial phases is easier than dealing with the complex issues later. Frequent code reviews. Another great way to reduce the chances of tech debt is having predefined set of standards followed by the development team and having timely code reviews based on those set of standards. Ensuring that the entire team is held responsible for good quality code makes each and every member value and take these code reviews very, very seriously. Add tech debts to your to-do list. Sometimes you cannot avoid tech debts in the beginning. In such cases, what you can do is add tech debts to your list of tasks that you needs to be taken care of. This make uh, it's very, very easy for you to remember that the debts as it is actually a pending task for the team and it needs to be done within a specific time frame. Free time in your schedule to handle tech debts. This brings us to our fourth tip, which is allowing the same room in your planned schedule so that you can take care of the tech debts task. This ensures that you don't panic and the thought that you have to spend extra time on any sudden tech debt issues. Look out for interdependencies. Now, what does an interdependency exactly mean here? Well, it refers to a situation when there are technical debt items that lead to one another, thereby causing additional workloads for the developers. So to avoid any extra workload, it is advisable to take note of the tech debt items and sort them on the basis of priority. This ensures that you are aware of the tech debts and all the items are planned beforehand. These few tips will allow you to reduce the possibility of tech debt arising in your workflow or at least manage them in a better way. And now it's time to discuss some of the best practices to handle technical debt. Best practices to manage technical debt. We'll be talking about the possible ways to manage technical debt in your organization. First, assess your tech debt. The first and foremost thing is to evaluate the tech debt, starting off by calculating the number of days required by the team to refactor and resolve the debt items. You can then proceed by calculating the expenses related to the task, which ultimately leads to a cost benefit analysis. Guys, it is a win-win situation. Also, it is necessary to generate projections on how technical debt will vary over time and provide a current status report. Second is communicating the debt to your team, acknowledging that the technical debt actually exists and sharing the information with the major stakeholders is one of the most critical steps in controlling technical debt. The IT team then needs to communicate the expenses of the technical debt to the non-IT departments and figure out ways to resolve it as soon as possible. Third is to decide how to pay your technical debt. The easiest way out there is to keep the system as it is without making any changes to it. Alternatively, you can plan to refactor that is making changes to the existing software without affecting the functionality. Another way is to replace the whole system entirely. Although this involves risk of new occurring technical debt, it allows you to fix them very quickly as well. So see you in the next video. Till then, don't forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to the Scaler channel so that you don't miss on the amazing upcoming videos. See you.